Welcome to Fusion Charts. In this tutorial, I will show you the powerful React charting dashboard with source code assisted by Fusion Charts. Fusion Charts is basically um, a JavaScript library providing 100, 100 plus charts and 2000 maps, whether you want to use them for your web application or mobile application. Visuals with Fusion Charts are very interactive and they are animated as well. So they can give you the best, best experience for your dashboard slash dashboard slash slash dashboard to find this beautiful dashboard this this dashboard by fusion charts assists SaaS companies to track and monitor their important goals detailed infographics are available to the viewer these simple charts help a normal user to get a bit better understanding of all the metrics we are going to take a look at this live dashboard first Over here, we can see beautiful graphs and infographics. Um, we can see the grid as well. We can filter it as well. Um, and these graphs, they have this beautiful animation. If I refresh the application for you, you can see the beautiful animation, the graphs constructing themselves and animating as the, as the mount. So these these the, the, these SaaS companies can um, sort of display the dashboard and their useful information whether it's their monthly recurring revenue or their net revenue um or let's say it's their renewed users their new users or their churned users and now we are going to go to this main web page again and beside this live dashboard we see download source code um, this this sample source code uses um, a trial version of Fusion Charts, and you can uh, you you'll need to have a license for the commercial use. To download the source code, you'll need to have to give some information about yourself, that's the name, your email, your phone, your company, the country, and whether or not you are a developer or a product manager or business user that wants to use the source code. Once you submit it. It will automatically give you a zip file which you can extract and then see the see the source code once the source code is being downloaded we can go ahead and take a look about the other things the this web page mentions there are some key features that this dashboard offers there are some quick visi quick visibility of the important metrics um, you can see the growth in percentage along with the graph monthly performance like revenue cac and apru ability to toggle between metrics of last three years see and browse the detailed data with fusion grid fusion grid shows data being the same data source as fusion charts the fusion charts product used in this dashboards are fusion charts xt fusion charts grid fusion grid basically and the technologies used uh, in this dashboard are react.js react fusion charts wrapper and bootstrap Fusion Charts comes in with uh, different plugins. They can be for React and Angular and multiple platforms. So you can um, get the plugin you you desire yourself and just use it as you like. While we have our dashboard being um, downloaded, the source code, we can see um, what what the prerequisites are for this source code. There is uh, the Node version uh, should be um, greater than eight point one zero, and the NPM version should be greater than. 5.6 the project setup files are uh, we are extracting the zip uh, once that is done uh, we'll open our suitable um, code editor and then npm install our packages uh, once that is done we can do npm start but before this there are some details that we need to look after before we can you know view the dashboard in our local um, environment let's let's get to it Downloaded the source code and um, started uh, open the folder in the in your favorite um, code editor. You can go ahead in this configuration file and you can see some API key and spreadsheet ID that is being used. The API key is basically the Google API key that is being used, and the spreadsheet ID is some sample spreadsheet that uh, Google spread Google Sheets uh, provides. Um, the thing we have to do over here is uh, generate our own API key so that we can start uh, working with this dashboard. To make this key, go to your uh, de developer console on Google and let's get started. Once you're here in your developer console, you can go ahead and create new credentials. It will give you API key, OAuth client ID and service account. We have to go for API key. It will create the API key automatically for you. And there you have it, the API key. 
before using this um, key we'll copy it and go to edit API key to make our application run in our local environment that is the local host um, column 3000 what we have to do over here is um, there are some application restrictions for the for this API key we have to remove them or let's say allow our local host uh, 3000 port to sort of use this API key to get the Google sheet that we are going to use to display the test dashboard so uh, go over here for SCT re referrers and enable it add an item and say localhost 3000 and once you say done and save you can now use this key in your project coming back to our code i'll replace this key with the key i just made and run the project now we are able to run this application on our local environment and now we can deep dive into the code to see what's really happening and how the library is being used We are going to jump ahead and open app.js and package.json just to check what packages are being used. So it's using Fusion Charts and React Fusion Charts, the plugin. And when we go to app.js, we can see React FC being imported and the Fusion Charts. Then we are passing Fusion Charts to React FC so that it can um, configure it in our root directory. We have a uh, URL created for the spreadsheet so that we can fetch it once the component mounts. And we have our spreadsheet ID and our API key that helps the API to fetch the spreadsheet. We, ca we can go to our uh, component mount lifecycle and see the API running, the URL running, and fetching the spreadsheet. And we are sort of uh, getting the ranges uh, according to ourselves and how we want to dis display our data. We can see this update dashboard um, on click function that basically tells tells the dashboard when to switch and uh, let's say if I were to uh, look at the records from 2016 or 2017 or 2018 I'll just have to use a you know update dashboard uh, on click event and it will um, give me the um, required changes. Now getting to the part where um, we are actually using the graphs and um, all these snippets of React FC so that we can display our graphs. Um, the initial one is over here, renewed users, that is using um, renewed users class and we are changing our um, the field, the data of this field by uh, document fetch ID. Over here we can see React FC component being used and um, there are some props being passed to this component uh, that is in the state as MRR chart data. So for every chart we see are being passed some props. Let's, let's look into these props. So these props uh, are null by default, or let's say when the when the component um, when the constructor is being called for the component. Um, once the component did mount is called, then we can see these these configurations being um, being declared and initialized. So over here, there are some props that React FC expects uh, from the user: it's the type, width, height, date format, date source. Um, it's basically the data how you want it in your um, graph or how, how you want it to look like. Um, it's a data set. Uh, what is a data set? Um, and there are some more options for you to how, how, the, how, how you want the graph to look like when you hover on it. These are the configurations that are there for every graph. Uh, we see MRR chart graph configuration. We can go ahead and look see NR. Uh, net revenue uh, chart configurations and many more. So for all of the graphs, we have these configurations. Now diving into these configurations, we can see there are some type of charts that um, React Rea uh, Fusion Chart offers. Uh, we can go ahead and look into the documentation, what sort of uh, charts they provide. So I'm here in the official documentation of Fusion Charts and I can see the chart attributes over here. Um, so we, are, we were using um, multi-series 2D, right? Uh, I can see it over here as this one, right? Yeah, MS Combi 2, 2D. So there are so many charts that you can use um, as you like and just put them in your code. There are over 100 plus char uh, charts that you can use over here. Along with this, there are some map attributes that Fusion Charts also offers. 
different sort of charts and different sort of um, configuration or attributes it offers. As you can see, you can build beautiful dashboards with this Fusion Charts uh, JavaScript library uh, with over options of 100 plus charts and maps. Um, head over to the pricing section and select your um, preferred plan. Uh, if it's basic, pro, enterprise, or enterprise plus, uh, you can see what, what the plan offers and uh, you can select how much it's going to cost you if you were to pick the developers. Here are some next steps for Fusion Charts if you want to try it out. Um, there are some trial versions, trial links as well. Uh, React trial, Angular trial, jQuery.net, PHP, and many blogs that come over here. Thank you for being with me for this how to build a React dashboard with Fusion Charts. Head over to fusioncharts.com right now and download it. Thank you and goodbye.